Hey, what's up, YouTube? And in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a sprint and walk button. So it'll be like when you press when you press the button, you'll sprint, and when you um, press the button again, you'll go back to be walking. And it's quite cool for games where you have a long distance travel, like my RP. That's why I had to make it. Um, as you'll know, that my map is like all connected to one big map, so you can like go around. But um, it's re it takes really really long on the uh, original 16 walk speed, but also it. Um, the piggy walk speed is in 14 or 15, 14 or 15. I'm not sure which one that makes it even slower and I can't just make them go even faster. So I had to add this one sprint and I think I'll make a video just to show you guys how to make because it's not too hard. Okay. We're just going to firstly go into start GUI. This is a completely clean base plate. We're just going to go into start GUI. We're going to click this plus icon and do a screen GUI. Okay. We're then going to click the um, plus button again. And we're going to do a text button. Okay. This is what's going to be, well, this is what you're going to be able to click. How I do it is I go into iPhone 4S and then I just size it back down so I know what, how big it's going to be across all devices. So if I want it to be that big across all devices, I will actually I might make it a little bit smaller than that actually, to make it like that. And then all you, I'll, I'll put this plugin in the description for you. It's a unit conversion. All you want to do is just scale them so that then they are the same on all devices. You'll see that then it's same on everything from for iPhone to Xbox. It's the same, near enough the same size. So with the text button, what you can do is you can recolor everything. So I'm going to change this to be a bit like a light gray. I'm going to change the border pixels to be about 3.5. That oops, not 3.35. Free them. You see that makes it look a little better. And then you can add the text, which will be. I'm going to start it with sprint because that's what it's telling you to do. It's going to be sprint to do it. And then you're going to click text scaled. And then all you're going to do is you're going to change the text. Oh, not the text size. Sorry. And then all you can do is change the text font so i tend to go with denk own because i just think it looks really really cool it is that one there there's lots and lots and lots you can choose from all you're going to do now is inside this text button you're just going to enter a local script okay and I'll, I'll put this script in the description for you as well and all you're going to do is you're going to do local button equals script dot parent and you're going to do the next one which is going to be local and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to local play and then you're going to go equal, e equal equals, yeah, equals, we're going to do capital P there, equals game colon get service. And then you're going to open the brackets and open the small speech marks and you're going to do players, okay? Like that. And then we're going to go on to the next line and we're going to do local sprinting equals false, okay? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do local function sprint. This is what we're going to do, create our own function. This is the, func the function we call sprint. This is what we're going to call back later. Now we're going to do local player equals player dot local player. You go on to the next line. And we're going to do if sprinting if sprinting then in the next line you're gonna do sprinting equals false. Moving on to the next line and we're gonna do button button dot text equals and this was gonna change it. So now we want to do this one to be walk because that's what you want it to change to. And then we're gonna make sure that it says player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 32 and on the next line you're going to go back one and you're going to do else and you're going to the next line again sprinting and now we can just copy down these three things so we're going to copy down sprint these last three lines here control c and then you're going to paste it in there and then you're going to change sprinting to true what says walk back to sprint and then speed to 16 and then on the last lines you're now just going to add button dot no button yeah button dot mouse click button one click colon connect and then inside that bracket you're just going to write sprint okay that will be pretty much that done that will be then be clickable and it should sprint you then i'm just going to do a quick test just to test this out and then hopefully you can we it will work so let's see as soon as you click play here, you'll see that it appears on the screen. It is big enough, and then we can click sprint, and then it sprints you, and then it will show up with walk, and then you click walk, 
it slows you down and it says sprint again so you'll see this actually does work i will leave a description a description i'll leave the plugin for the resize of the guis and that and that will all be good for you um if you did enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video and i will actually see you guys next time goodbye